what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so this will be my spoiler free review for escape room tournament of champions aka escape room 2 the follow-up to the 2019 film that combined the saw franchise with final destination that's what many people were comparing those comparing it to like a little twisted child of those two franchises this is once again not well not once again i'll say it's being directed by adam robitel and it is being written by maria melnick with a whole new list of co-writers because i think maria is the only person returning from the original escape room uh, and i think i misspoke adam robitel actually did direct the original film so he's back in the director's chair for this we have our returning cast members we have taylor russell playing zoe davis again logan miller playing ben miller we have india moore playing brianna holen Roden as rachel thomas cockerel as nathan carlito olivero as Derek. so those last few bit of people starting all starting with india those are our new supporting cast members brianna rachel nathan Derek, joining our two surviving cast members zoe and ben who we know they were a part of the original group of people who were facing that um or facing that escape room designed by the minos escape room corporation that is spearheaded by this mythical ominous figure not mythical but ominous figure dr Wu Tan Yu. so they end up finding out that it's based in new york city so they go to new york city to try to take this corporation down to get justice for all those people who did not make it out of this escape room they want this company to be brought to justice and they want all of the stuff that they're doing to be brought to light because we know that this exists honestly to entertain the elitists the rich elite that's what we find out in the original film that's all this simply is just something for a rich elitist to get entertainment out of however this new screenplay and this follow-up to that original film which i thought was adequately enough subpar at best i enjoyed it and i liked it i like this one too but when i tell you that you have to turn your brain off with this film you have to turn your brain off you have to take it out and you have to throw it away you have to look at this movie as if you are a blithering idiot for this to be even remotely considered a coherent logical plausible set of events that unfold in front of you minos is essentially the illuminati at this point that's what i'm going to just compare them to i'm not spoiling that that's what they end up being but the stuff that transpires in this narrative is highly irrational highly reliant on things to go exactly as according to plan too many specific things have to have to go exactly as you would want them to go for this corporation to continue to get away with certain things it's very ridiculous zoe and ben you know our two returning survivors they are the only people you will be attached to in this movie i promise you they will be what i mean by that is it's titled tournament of champions what we end up finding out when they get to new york along the way they are they are of course thrusted into another set of escape rooms to be escaped but this time they're amongst a group of survivors who end up being people as shown in the trailer participated in the escape room in the past through minos so they all have that connection however these characters they're all survivors there's even a cliche line tournament of champions the title of the movie is mentioned in the movie itself these people if they survived in the past i do not understand why there was a logical why there was a decision in the writing room that would make us think that this is a logical decision to make in terms of the narrative but zoe is the only person who seems to have any wherewithal of what to do so it begs the question how are any of these people survivors of previous escape rooms through minos she's presented as being the smartest out of the bunch not to say that they're not smart of course since they survived but they're downplayed compared to her and it's very it's kind of contradicting i guess to what they're supposed to re represent they all seem to have outsmarted minos but we're never really shown that here it's just zoe who seems to be the one that seems worthy of even holding the title of being a champion in these escape room escape rooms designed by minos all the other characters you don't learn anything about them you won't find any reason to care about them living or dying and their champion status is kind of rendered invalid by the way that they are portrayed on screen and the the lack of detail that goes into presenting them as smart individuals we have them making some of the most ridiculous risk along the way in these escape rooms so it begs the question how did they how did these people even survive i'm questioning that while watching it because they are presented as being dumber than a bag of rocks they're not of course stupid <laughs> since they survived 
but then why was there an agreement or a decision upon writing them like this they're not presented as being survivors at all they're presented as being weak and spineless for the most part one you learn very little about them so like you learn that one of them is religious one can't feel any pain one has a wife that's it okay who cares there's no rhyme or reason to grow attached to anyone in this film those of you who are a fan of one of the actresses in this film uh holland rodin or rodin she does a phen she does a great job the acting in this movie is fine it's serviceable at best but again it's just like this script here no absolutely not it's very reliant on you turning your brain off there's an there's some unexpected twists that come throughout the middle of the film it doesn't matter that i'm saying there are unexpected twists you're still not going to see it coming for those of you who are going to jump to that comment probably down in the comment section you're still not going to see this coming and part of that is due to how well directed the film is it's very in your face very fast paced got it's very energetic from the moment the escape room stuff or shenanigans start all the way through to the final credits Zoe is again by far the most likable character out of the group of people that you're forced to sit through this with and the biggest compliment just like his predecessor are the designs and the prop designs and the setups for these elaborate escape rooms but again everything is kind of ruined by how overly elaborate and convoluted this stuff is because it doesn't make any sense for a person for any rational person who watches movies and you're trying to understand you're trying to digest and you're trying to of course watch a movie that's complimenting your intelligence you're not going to get that here you are not going to get that here this is literally like reading a book but someone keeps ripping out the pages there are so many things that you're going to want to question as to how did this happen well that doesn't make any sense it's just very convoluted in its execution it's it's fun to watch but it's just overly convoluted the biggest detriment unfortunately with this latest entry is the script and they try to do a big jigsaw like twist when saw two so i'll just say that no specific spoilers but i'll give it an honest four and a half out of ten let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below but if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification to miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'll have me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video